Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So I'm coming on because it is Friday night and I'm doing a what's for dinner. Now what's for dinner guys tonight is ham steak um, with fettuccine noodles and some sort of vegetable. I'm not sure, kind of broccoli out, had broccoli the other night and the night before, I think before that. So um, not sure what vegetable yet. I'm going to check it out and see what vegetables we have in there. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to get started. I'm, I, I started the water on the um, on the pot for the fettuccine noodles, the Alfredo noodles. And I'm going to put um, pineapple in with some of the ham steak. Not at all because Billy doesn't like sweetness with his ham steak. But um, the rest of us do. So I'm going to do it, put a little brown sugar and some pineapple in with the ham steaks. And first, I'm going to still, I'm going to do that. And then I'll put the ham steaks in it at the end because ham steaks are, are cooked already. Actually, these are a little frozen, so they're going to take a little bit longer. But normally, I literally cook ham steak for five minutes. Two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other. Because if you, if you overcook ham steak, it's like rubber. So you just got to be really careful with ham steak. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go over there and start the pan for the... Um, I'm going to put a little butter in the pan for the brown sugar and the pineapple. All right? So I'm heating up the butter, guys, in this pan here. I'm gonna, I know it was a little bit of a glare with the Scotsy light. Let me see something. Mm. That's a little bit better, but. Um, I'm gonna let the butter melt a little bit, and then I'm gonna put the pineapple in. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the juice out of the pineapple first. I put it over here. You guys can't see that. I'm gonna take the juice out of the pineapple first because um, I wanna save all the juice, but I don't want it, I wanna caramelize the pineapple first. So I don't want it to be watery. You know what I mean? I want the flame high because I want it to, I want them to caramelize, like I said. Oop. Don't stick your finger in it, Linda. No, it's yourself. Don't stick your finger in it. Oh. Hmm? Yeah. Duh. Sometimes I'm not the smartest tool in the shed, in the shed guys. Sometimes. <laughs> All this juice in here is going to be so good. So I'm going to let these caramelize on high with the butter. I have my water over here. Getting ready to boil for the noodles. I got a package of the Noor and I bought, see the Noor? Um, I bought these at Aldi, and my daughter tried one package. She says they were really, really good. So I'm going to try them from now on. They're, they're a lot cheaper, and if they're just as good, hey, that's what I'm going to do. Let me tell you something about what's going on in this country right now. Look at this. They're making all the bags smaller. This used to be bigger, used to be around this size. It's, it's now smaller, and they're charging the same or even more for it. It's ridiculous what's, what's going on, guys. Everything is crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. All right, this is boiling now. So I'm gonna take it off of the the flame because it's gonna boil over if I don't. I love these um, these noodles. They're so versatile. You put, you know, you could like make this a meal. You could put chicken in it. You could put shrimp in it. You can put vegetables in it. Sometimes I, I put broccoli in it. Um, they're just really, really quick meals. <laughs> they can become a nice quick meal. I'm gonna take it off of this one and put it back on this one because it's lower because I don't want it 
Now this has to come to a boil, and then I'll lower it and let it simmer with, with the cover on, you know, the way. All right, so see you guys. I'm going to start the color. What I'm going to do is start adding some brown sugar. Crazy what's going on. Um, when I was at the Dollar Tree yesterday, um, the stuff is just really awful. The stuff is getting so much like they're giving you so much less now. They're making they're making all their things less. You know, like all the boxes less, and, and they think people don't notice it, but you do notice it. I notice it. Like if you if if a if you have a certain amount of stuff in one box. And then you could, you could see it's, it's smaller. It's like ridiculous. Like, they're really trying to just, I guess, make profit, right? That's what the purpose is, I guess. All right, so what I'm going to start doing is adding a little brown sugar in. Did you know, guys, that putting a piece of bread, stale bread, or just bread that the pump stale, in with your brown sugar, it keeps it from lumping. That's what I do all the time. I have this bread right over there. I took it out because I'm putting the spoon in here, but um, you never have to worry about it getting clumpy. I just change the bread every couple of months. That's what I do. Bread doesn't go bad or anything like that. And the lamb sugar. Oh my God, guys, if you could smell this right now. Just rip it all around. It smells amazing. Look at that, guys. Mm. Oh my god, it smells so good. Okay, I'm going to put the top on this like this. And I'm gonna, well, the flame's pretty low, so I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to start turning these a little bit. Oh my god, guys, look at that. Oh my god. Can you turn that one? Now, as soon as the the um they start to caramelize a little bit more, I'm gonna put the pineapple juice in with it and let it simmer for a few minutes. Yeah, that should be good. I know it's brown sugar. I know it's sweet and it's not great for me, but you know, not gonna have enormous amount. God, guys, so yummy. Right, let's put this back. Put the bread back in and I have to put more around. Brown sugar in it because I'm getting below in there. Right now. Now I'm going to season this a little bit, the pineapple, just a little bit, with a little salt. 
a little pepper. A little bit of onion powder. And some garlic. God, it smells so good. Now I'm gonna put the pineapple juice in it. And let this simmer a little bit. Every once in a while, you gotta mix it because it, they can, it can stick. Every couple of minutes, you just come in and mix it. And as soon as it starts, by, you know, getting thick. Um, like in another five, ten minutes, I'll shut it and just let it sit in there because um, otherwise it gets so like thick and it's not creamy enough. So sometimes I'll add a little bit more milk to it or something because we like it creamy. So this I'm going to lower. Let that simmer because this was frozen, so it's taking a little bit longer than um, than normal. Then I would leave it in. So I'm gonna. Heat this one up because I'm going to make the other, another piece of ham steak in that one. But I'm not going to be able to fit the whole ham steak in, so I'll just put half of it. So I'll put as much as I can in right now. Oh yeah, will I? Oh look at that. I'll just take a little piece off that we'll cook after. Um, I'm going to season the ham steak a little bit. A little bit of salt and pepper. Not much salt because it's ham steak and you know, ham steak can be a little, it could be salty. Onion powder, garlic powder. And I'm gonna put some garlic powder in this fettuccine Alfredo stuff. So, I'm going to shut this off right now, guys, and just let it sit in here a few minutes because I don't want the ham steak to overcook, okay? So I'm just going to push it to the side and let it sit there a few minutes while I focus on this one. I opened a can of French onions, French onion, French string beans. We're going to have those. Very simple. I'm probably going to just going to eat those. But. That's all right. Open up some more butter.
So this is done, like I said, I'm leaving this in here. I took this one out and I'm just putting another little half in. You never know if it's gonna be enough. If it's not, whatever's not eaten here, guys, I have a half of one that's not cooked over there yet. Whatever's not eaten, I will eat for breakfast. I will eat it for breakfast, definitely with eggs and ham. Really, really delicious. So yeah, so everything's done. The fettuccine noodles are done. I'm gonna heat up the string beans in the microwave and we're gonna eat. So I'll let you guys see the plate when it's done. Alright guys, so here's my plate. I have a piece of ham steak with um, delicious pineapple, some string beans, and a little bit of noodles, guys. This is what's for dinner tonight. Ham steak's on the menu. I'm very excited. It looks so yummy. Um, so listen, guys, don't forget to hit all those buttons on the bottom, especially that notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload. All right, guys, so we'll see you on the next video. I hope you guys have a great night. Bye. Bye, Roger.